Hello Aces, welcome back to module 7, lesson 1.2, more positioning tactics. In this lesson, I'm going to be sharing with you two more advanced positioning tactics to grow your restaurant. In the previous lesson, we talked about the triple A tactics. What are the triple A tactics? These are free tactics that you can use, awards, articles, and associations to really uplift your brand for your restaurant. And these are the exact tactics that I've used to grow my ice cream shop into an international chain, which we have got it sold. And I want to be able to share this with you because it works. When you stack everything together, it works like a charm. Now let's dive right in. Number four advanced tactic is to leverage influencers. Influencers play a key role in your customer's eyes on your brand. Module six shares with you how you can actually find these influencers and how you can approach them. People trust your influencers much, much more than you. And which is the reason why if you were to toot your own horn and you're like, hey, you know what? I have some great products, come and try it out. That is much more discounted versus if an influencer puts their neck up and say how great and how much they've enjoyed uh, at your restaurant. Much, much better and much more effect. And on top of that, it shows a tremendous amount of social proof. It means that, hey, you know what? You have that validation from someone that is trustworthy. And once again, it all comes back down to trust. If someone else is willing to vouch for you, then that adds another point on that trust jar. Pro tip number three, Always, always establish great relationships with your influencers because you never know they'll, when they'll visit again as a regular customers and their words weigh a lot. So never make enemies with them because if they start bashing you online, there's really nothing much you can do. And on top of that, their community is super tight and small. Everyone knows everyone in this game. So if you piss one off, most likely, they're gonna spread that word to other influencers and your chances of getting featured with them is near slim, slim, none to slim or whatever the case may be. So don't piss them off and always establish a great relationship with them. Advanced tactic number five, reviews guys. I know a lot of people utilize reviews, but I don't see a lot of people utilize reviews in a great manner. Review sites uh, like Google, Yelp is very important when it comes to first impression because like I was sharing with you in the last module, we talk about the touch points. And usually people, when, when they first approach a brand, it is through review sites, when they do their research, when they do their analysis, whatever the case may be. And if the reviews sites say something great about you and positive and to, and if you can actually showcase your character, that says a lot about your company. Okay. People make the decision whether to go to eat at your restaurant or not based on ratings. So understand that pro tip number four is that always, always engage, whether you have a good review or a bad review because it shows character and many times it does attract customers because there's a human element to it, guys. Human element is the key here. We're not telling you to reply like a robot and I don't want you to reply like a robot. You don't need to be professional. You're not running a Fortune 500 company. You are running a mom and pop restaurant. So have your character, reply like humans, guys. And what I mean by that is if you have a bad review, and it is a warranted bad review. For example, it's like, hey, you know what? Uh, someone wrote down like, uh, I, I don't like this place um, because I waited an hour for my food. Well, you can actually own up to it. Say that, you know what, you're sorry because your chef called in sick last minute, which is why you're scrambling. And usually it's not like that. And I would like to make up for that poor experience with a $50 credit for your next purchase or your next visit. So please come and give us a chance again. So when people read that review, as a third party, they'll see and they'll understand because that's the human element that I'm talking about. You're owning up to your mistakes and you're also trying to rectify that problem and people a lot more reasonable than you think. So as long as you explain, it's all good to go. However, if it is a bad review, like a troll, then troll them back. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and the quality of your shop. So for example, when someone comes in, they're like, hey, you know what? I, uh, I wasn't given a seat um, for more than 20 minutes. Well, they didn't make a booking, first of all. And second of all, um, or the restaurant is super busy. And obviously there's gonna be a lineup. And yeah, it's unfortunate that they have to wait for 15 minutes. 
but it's warned it's not warranted they're just trolling you because they're just not happy because of their their isolated experience that they had this crazy expectation then tell them hey you know what usually wait times are around 30 to 35 minutes and if you don't want to wait leave a reservation next time uh, and we already put you in line and we already uh, gave you like a, a, an appetizer for free for waiting extra long so hopefully you understand that so something like that to explain and to stand up for yourself and your restaurant also attracts customers because they're like, oh, wow, that's reasonable. Of course, you have to wait if it's a popular restaurant. So these are the things that I want to share with you. So once again, the five tactics, awards, articles, association, influencers, and reviews. Stack these items in order to elevate your brand, okay? This is how you can develop trust when you do all five things and you're able to showcase this within your website, within your uh, storefront or within your social media. This creates a tremendous amount of good trust, goodwill. So when people are actually researching you, when you're actually running advertisement, you have a really solid base for people to see what's going on. And only after you have done these five tactics should you be running any types of advertisement because when you're driving traffic over, you want them to see how great you are. You don't want them to see all your exposures and all your downfalls. You don't want them to see like, oh, I don't even trust this place. Why are you driving traffic to your restaurant when you're not ready? You shouldn't be driving traffic, especially paid traffic. And that's the reason why I'm saving running ads to the very, very last lessons because I want to be able to work on this in sequential order with you. A lot of companies fail because they run ads right away. They open up their restaurant and they think that, hey, you know what? I need to spend two, three thousand dollars running advertisements so then that way people come through the doors when they're not even ready for that amount of traffic, when they're not ready to showcase how great they are. They haven't laid the proper groundwork. They haven't had the right foundations. That's the reason why you should never, ever run advertisement before doing everything that you can to cover your bases. When there is no trust, there is no buy. You can run advertisements, you can run promotions, you can run like buy one, get one free. And when you do that, you're competing on price, not value. And when you compete on price, you're a commodity. And when you're a commodity, there's just no way of winning because there is no brand loyalty. People just go to the place that is the cheapest. If you want to compete on value that's when you can charge a premium that's when you can charge $30 a burger because you're competing on value once again trust people buy from trust use these five tactics so then that way you can start developing trust with your customers number one now it is your turn to list out the five relevant awards to apply for list out the eight relevant publications that you can reach out to and list out the four associations that align in values with you. Next up is to list out the 20 relevant local influencers and engage with them regularly. Whenever you have a new promotion, new item, new launch, whatever the case is, reach out to them regularly and have a great relationship with them. And then step number five is to create a protocol and how you handle and respond to reviews, the positive ones and the negative one. And then make sure these activities are a weekly, monthly task for you and your team. Because once again, these things are continuously ongoing. You need to continue building that building block and continue stacking that. And the more momentum that you get, the more result that you're going to be able to have. In the link below, download the worksheet so you can follow along. Hope you enjoyed this. In this lesson, you learned the two more advanced ways to position your restaurant for some explosive growth. In the next lesson, super excited to share with you guys, how do you get free PR for your restaurant in four simple steps? I'll see you guys in the next lesson.